Hello all, welcome back to Tech Capture. So in this hour, part two of the video, data engineering project where we automated a ELT data pipeline using Airflow, and now we'll create a BI reports and Local Studio dashboards and reports in this video. So let's just see what we have did in last video. So last video we see what is ETL, what is ELT, difference between ETL and ELT. Then we saw our requirement, what is our exact requirement. Okay, so this was the architecture we have designed and till now we loaded the 1 million record from this csv file which was there in cloud storage bucket using airflow first we loaded a raw data into staging data set it was a 1 million record and then we created a separate table for each country okay so we created separate separate tables and from that table we created a views and now on the views we are going to create our looker studio dashboards and report so let me show you the DAG which we created in our last video so this is our DAG which we created in our previous video. So we first check the file is available in the storage bucket. After that we loaded that data into BigQuery all 1 million record. Then we created separate table for each country and then we created a separate view for each country. And now on top of this view once we have all this data in our BigQuery data warehouse we are going to build our BI reports and dashboards. Okay, so I am in my query now. So this is my reporting data set where we have all views. This is my staging data set where I have all data. And this is my transform data set where I created a separate separate table for each country. Now I just want to explain why we did all these things. Why we directly haven't created table or why we directly haven't used CSV file data that is a global data table with 1 million record. So I will tell you this is because to save a cost as well as the time whenever any country's uh, health minister want to analyze the data suppose I will take I do not have my reporting data set I do not have my transform data set I do not have data pipeline I only have data and let's assume I only loaded into the big query okay so this is my raw data so I have 1 million record here and suppose I am from India and I want to query the data or analyze data only related to India. So what I will do, I will just do star here first thing. Okay. And now I have to work on the data which is related to India. So I will write a query where country is equal to India. Okay? Now this is the query I will route. Now let's see here. So query will process 167.56 MB and when run. Now if I execute this query, let's see. So first it is executing. Okay, I give the space here. Stick. Okay. And let me execute run again. So now it is taking how many time it is taking? Okay, it took three seconds. Okay, to display my data that is 50,000 records and it charged me let's say charge me for the 168 megabyte 168 MB so you can see byte build 168 MB and time took is around 3 seconds okay so that is duration it was just to fetch but for us to get the data it was 3 seconds so this is on the global data now here I am paying for 168 MB now let's assume now we have transform data set what I will do I will go to India okay. I will just go to query in new tab and here I will just do select star now let's see so here I am only paying for 8 MB not for 168 MB and if I execute this query okay let me remove this sorry so it is taking if we check it is taking around same time but our cost is reduced we are currently paying for only for 8 megabyte okay so millisecond slots you can see 824 it will build 10 MB only data it build so in earlier query we were paying for 168 MB and slot we are paying for 1223 okay so we reduced cost as well as the time now let's say now we are going to build reports on our views so reports are nothing but they will also create a query at the back end now I will query this data 
for India I will select here I will remove this 1000 okay now I am only paying for 2 MB and if I execute the query I will get only required data so whatever I required okay so you can see my data so this is also query at the table at the back end check the job information now you can see I am paying only for 210 milliseconds byte builds around you can see this 10 MB because on the table level but here you can see it's 2.22 MB only data it's taking so that is why we created whole this data warehouse we created the separate uh, table for each country and we created now the views for reporting and now so if you see here if I execute the same query again okay and let's see the job information now now you can see the byte pressure zero because this result is cache now build also zero and that is why we created a view and all these data pipeline number of different data sets and all these stuff okay now hope you understood why we should create this kind of layers while working on the data engineering project this is clear now now I'll go to Looker studio and start creating our dashboard so simply go to lookerstudio.google.com and also I want to show one more thing so the column name in your CSV file so if I go to global data so this column name will not support in your reports so you cannot directly go and create reports on these but if you check for views so this decision name column we have converted into this is underscore name in our view so it will support in our look report so I'll show you that as well if I go and create report directly on the raw data it will throw an error so suppose now it will ask me for a data I will go to query I'll select now the raw table data okay so first I will go staging and I will select my raw data and let's see if I can see the data first thing it will definitely cost me more but let's see if I can build report on top of it okay so no connection changes were found okay continue now I'll just take the decision name here okay invalid field name because this is not supported this is name now I'll go back again and create new reports and that I will create on view so now I'll select data set as a query I will select the same project now I'll go for reporting data set and I will go for India view and let's see if we can build report on this view now add okay continue so this is name you can see now I want to go by country wise now you can see from India I'm getting the stat how many number of records I had for each year okay so the first report I will build here okay I'll just build this table also I just want to give the name as a India health data okay so now I'm building my report so I also want some kind of uh, bar chart I'll just put it here I'll just make it small okay and based on the count it is showing me data so let me increase the page size then go and change the page setting so height I will change it to 1200 okay so now this is increased so I will drag my table down 
and now okay so this is showing similar because the values are around same but I will just print the label as well show data labels now you can see the record count because this is per it is not per year this is for each country but if I go here and add instead of this is name I add year okay now it will show you per year so this is looking complex so instead of here you can go by either for this is name or year so I'll show this way okay then this is for your table then you can create for all these and suppose if you want filter so I'll just add a filter from here I will just add filter and filter I will add for years or let's say I want to check only for so here filter I need for year okay so now suppose I want to check data for only 2008 okay so now you can see data for 2008 so this is let me change the page color to something black just change it to something gray okay so just give some border to this table okay it's fine just change the font to 14 okay. hmm. I'm just doing a kind of dummy uh, reports here okay I'm not going to do much beautification here but based on the requirement we can create and now suppose I want to schedule this report to any of these uh, let's show me in view mode as well how it likes so this is how it will look like for whoever analyzing so we can directly give access and they can just check for data for specific year or specific disease we can add more filter and they can see data for their country okay so now hope you understood how we created our reports now we want to schedule these reports so there is option to schedule what I will do now I will I'll schedule it to myself okay. so daily start time so I'm just starting it Oh, it's showing the date for today but instead of 8 p.m. I will choose the timing so currently it's 2 so I will choose 2 p.m. and I will show you a report I will also try to send now so I will just send it now so it will not send immediately it will it will take a 2 to 5 minutes of delay okay so let me just open my mailbox so let me check the mail so I should be received email now with this report ok you can see I received email now so let's check okay so this is how I re received email so I received PDF as well as I received link to go to the email so you can simply schedule email delivery for this reports as well so hope you understood now how we created reports and scheduled reports so this will be a direct link to your uh, reports as well so it will take time to refresh yeah okay so this is how we schedule reports too emails as well now we worked on our end-to-end -end data project so let's go back and check if we worked on this completely so we got data from CSV file with 1 million records that is picked from cloud storage bucket using Airflow this is loaded into 
staging data set which was the raw data then we transform that data and created the separate table then using this table we created a separate views and on top of these views we created a Lucas studio and dashboard and this studio and dashboards reports we have scheduled to users now so that's it for this video and also one more important thing so this is the data source I got from the Kaggle so if you can go to Kaggle so I'll show you where you can get this data source so you can simply log in but that data was not in the format directly to create a pipeline so I just transform that data so you can download into uh, login into the Kaggle and you can just find for the global health data you will get that file so this is the file I'll be sharing with you so I had to do a lot of name changes and column changes to we'll make it work with our airflow so i'll share this file with you so i'll either upload this file with a site so i have already uploaded few project files in the document section okay so you can get it from here or i will create a github repository and share in the descriptions okay so i'll be sharing all a dag files i'll share all these steps for airflow installation so which are already available in this blog and also I'll share this uh, report link as well okay so you can try it in your Google Cloud environment if you stuck somewhere just let me know in comment section and I'll try to help you out so thank you for watching this video hope you learn from this video and we'll see you again in a next amazing video